Hi everyone, we continue our coverage of West 2024 here in San Diego, California. I am now with Cellular Robotics, who is showcasing two pretty interesting uh, underwater uh, unmanned vehicles or XLUVs. I am with uh, Kyle McKinney, Business Development Manager at the company. Kyle, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Xavier. Can you please first start by uh, telling us a little bit about uh, Cellular Robotics? Absolutely. So Cellular Robotics is a Canadian company that focuses, focuses on subsea robotics and delivering proven trusted autonomy. All right. So uh, here at West 2024, you're showcasing two scale models of uh, two different uh, UUVs. Can you start off with the Solus LR? That's right. So what differentiates both of our UUVs is the propulsion system. So we use a hydrogen fuel cell um, to, to, to power the vehicles and, and what that enables is exceptional range and endurance. So with the Solus LR, and as you mentioned, it's a scale model in real life, this is 28 feet or eight and a half meters, and it has a range of 2,000 kilometers from a single fueling, which translates to roughly 15 days what that energy density that, that the fuel cell affords enables is versatility in terms of the payloads that we can integrate and accommodate. Um, and we have a, a 500 liter flooded payload bay um, for payload deployments. Well, that, those are pretty impressive uh, performance figures indeed for that size of uh, UUVs. Uh, if we move closer to the Solus XR, uh, so obviously this one is larger and uh, it shows a range of uh, 5,000 kilometers. If I remember right, uh, you had a press release last year uh, explaining that you had started sea trials with this That's and right. uh, soon you're going to send it to the UK? That's right. So uh, this summer we will be doing further sea trials of Solus XR um, in the North Sea uh, yeah. and we'll be working with BAE Systems and we'll be integrating their autonomy package and doing diving demonstrations with Solus XR. Um, so as you mentioned, it, it is larger, uh, it has more energy density on board, and that affords a 5,000 kilometer um, range, 45 day endurance, and it has two uh, 2,500 liter flooded payload bays. It's designed to fit within a 40 foot ISO container, and, and back to LR, also within a 40-foot ISO container, in addition to the refueling skit. And just for like, uh, to have a reference point that's uh, slightly smaller than the Orca uh, XL UV as used in the uh, US Navy. Right, exactly. What kind of uh, missions can you conduct with uh, these types uh, of UUVs? So we can conduct um, you know, typical survey missions, but also ISR missions. So it's, it's dual use. And we have, you know, on the ISR side of things, we have developed novel payloads to help accommodate that. So we have a suction anchor um, that can be deployed and allow the vehicle to loiter in place, thereby increasing its endurance. But we also developed a, a cableless uh, array. So these are listening nodes uh, that have a hydrophone array on board. They're deployed multiple kilometers apart from one another. They can be deployed from the payload base or off the vessel. And that essentially creates a trip wire um, at choke points for uh, choke point surveillance um, without having to install in expensive infrastructure like cables um, and also allows for more versatility in terms of where you can deploy uh, that surveillance array. A little bit like a source, the Sosos network, the famous uh, network in the North Atlantic, but more modern. E e exactly, and you know, without the cable to, to follow the network along. Uh, last but not least, uh, do you have any uh, any customers for any of those uh, UUVs? Yes, so we're working with um, DRDC in Canada. Um, we've I, I mentioned the relationship with BAE. Uh, and then in the energy space, we, we've working with a company out of Aberdeen, Scotland, HanaWorks, um, where we've actually deployed an ROV from one of the payload bays and married the, the worlds of subsea autonomy with remote offshore operations. Very well, Kyle. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.